Welcome to the Stretch the Sketch May 2018 hop. This is Tracy and welcome to my channel. I am making a traveler's notebook and for your convenience, I have put the sketch in the top right hand corner for you. Now this is going to be a very clean lined uh, page. I love this rainbow paper. It's a six by six paper and just putting it on some uh, some white cardstock and what I like to do is I like to work in my traveler's notebook on separate sheets of paper and then just glue that into my traveler's notebook. It just makes it easier for me to put it um, in my traveler's notebook or just to work on it. So I like this navy paper. I'm going to um, make it as a, a mat for my photograph here and it is a cup of espresso. So whenever I go to Europe, I try to always drink the espresso in whatever country I'm in. Um, sometimes they have some unique flavors, a uh, unique way of making it. This is just a typical traditional Italian espresso. So I really, really, really like this navy. Um, I thought that I was a black, uh, you know, accent person, but um, I'm really liking the Navy. So it, this is coming together so fast, so, so fast. So, so far on here, I have my photograph. I have this rainbow paper, six by six and the arrows, and it is looking awesome. Now, what I'm cutting out here is a Paige Evans. It's a speech bubble. And yeah, that little speech bubble says little things and it goes right up there in the top left hand corner of the photograph. All right, gluing down these with, it just is quicker to do it with wet glue than it is for the ATG. So and it, they're easy to move around if I need to move it, you know, uh, a little bit. So it's one of the things I like about the wet glue. When I put it in a traveler's notebook, I try not to add too much dimension. Uh, normally, I would probably put the photo up on foam tape, but I don't want to add, you know, dimension to my book. It's already getting pretty thick. And I went through all the little teacups that I had from the Paige Evans a collection that came out, oh, last fall. Let's see. Um, I don't remember the name of it, but uh, I had I had already used a bunch of the teacups. I had the 12 by 12 sheet and I fussy cut all of them out and I wanted to um, use some of them. I thought I was going to use several of them, but it just doesn't look right. So I'm going through trying to figure out what I'm going to do. I don't even use that frame. It just, it the frame is, is gone. <laughs> and I'm just going to use a little teacup. And then the alpha, the little foam stickers that are right next uh, to the left of the page is what I use. And I spell out authentic Italian espresso. There's plenty of letters. I didn't have to worry about running out of anything. It was, um, it's so nice. This is such a nice size, especially for a traveler's notebook. And this came in navy and it comes in white on the other side. I want to say thank you, Paige Evans, for coming up with such a great uh, set of alpha. Love, love, love them. Okay, there are no sprinkles and no sequins, like I've said. This is pretty much it. There are some still shots at the end. Make sure you follow along with some of the other ladies that are joining on the hop. Um, I know that there is a lot of them, uh, but it will be well worth it to see what everyone does with the sketch. All right, you guys have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.